Aina just dropped a model with more than a trillion parameters. This is a testament that scaling works, but the shame is that the model is not open source or not even open weights. This comes from one of the most popular open weights model company, Quen from Alibaba. So Quen 3 Max Instruct Preview is a model that has been trained with more than a trillion parameters. This model comes in only two different forms. You can either access it on Quen Chat or it is available on Alibaba Cloud API, also available on Open Router. But this is a model for the first time Quen is releasing a model, not as an open weight model, but at least like for the world to use it with over a trillion parameters. This kind of confirms that if you keep on scaling the compute data size of the model, the model is going to do better. In terms of the benchmarks that they've highlighted, the model is better than Claude Opus 4 non-thinking models. So this is a non-thinking model, something to keep in mind. When usually has a separate thinking and separate non-thinking model. And the Mac series is something that they do not generally open source. So Quen confirms that this beats their previous uh, best model. It's a mouthful Quen 3, 235 billion, A22 billion, 2507 model and the internal test and early user feedback they have felt that the model has stronger performance broader knowledge and it is better at conversations and also it is better at agentic tasks including better instruction following also on a third party benchmark which is using llms to solve word connections which is a new york times game you can see that quen 3 max is not doing super great it's a preview model i understand that but if you see grok 4 is here and like most of these models are thinking models, but if you come to the non-thinking side of the world as well, Quen 3 Max is definitely not anywhere closer to the other models. Like Claude Sonnet 4 reasoning is better than this. We have got GLM 4.5, which I think most likely a thinking model. And then you've got GPT versus 120 billion parameter model, much better than Quen 3 Max. So I know the 1 trillion parameter has got its juice, but we have to explore it and then figure out what kind of things that this model would be suitable better for and then we can use it accordingly. I don't think this model is groundbreaking in terms of its benchmarks. Rather, I would say that this model is groundbreaking for the fact that this model has been trained over 1 trillion parameter and Quinn has the robust technology to train this and also the fact that, you know, this is the range of 1 trillion parameter models. The model is available for you to just go chat with on chat.quen.ai. You can just like select the Quen 3 Max model and then start chatting with the model. The biggest catch for me personally about this particular model is, first of all, uh, I'm not going to do anything with 1 trillion parameter open source model because I don't have the computer on it. But generally when somebody open sources a model or shares the open weight of the model or even slight details about how the model has been trained, it propels the entire open ecosystem that makes the open ecosystem compete with these big corporates that are funded with trillion dollars, billion dollars and also has got the big government support. The cost of the model itself, for me, it feels expensive. So if you see Quen 3 Max, Quen 3 Max less than 128,000 token window. The input is $1.2 and the output is a $6. And if you see the input price for over 128,000 context window, it's got a $3 input price and $15 output price. Now take that for a context. So this, when you compare it with GPT-5, GPT-5 is just $1.25 input and $10 output. This is for the out, uh, 128,000 max output and it comes with 400,000 context window while Quinn can uh, output only 32,000 uh, tokens, while the total context window is 256,000. So technically speaking, this is expensive than GPT-5. Now you can argue that GPT-5 is heavily discounted. Um, I mean, who cares, right, at this particular point. If you want the best model, maybe Quen 3 Max may not be the best model for you to use at this particular point. I love the fact that we get a glimpse, at least the size of the model that this might be, which is more than a trillion parameters. But I don't think this model is going to replace any of your Claude 4.1 Opus or Claude 4 Sonnet or in fact, I would say GPT 5s of the world. I mean, it might be better at certain tasks like it has been highlighted here, heavy programming related task. But I don't think this is a drop in replacement for your best model in the workflow. So let me know what you think about this model. If you want to chat with the model, go to quen.ai and then chat with the model. But otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.